So this is it. Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Avengers 4. So this is my first Avengers 4 video. I'm going to be going through everything we know as of now as to what's happening in Avengers 4. So if you don't want spoilers from Infinity War or any other Marvel film, please click off the video now. But if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any MCU videos later this year. So yes, I keep on saying this, I know I'm a DC channel mainly, but I do like to post Marvel content every now and again, so please be sure to subscribe. It's not all gonna be just DC and stuff like that. As of now, it's untitled, but obviously there's been some leaks. Some people have been saying, oh, Avengers 4 is going to be titled this. You know, they haven't officially released that, so I'm I'm not going to be touching on that part of you know what's come out so far because that's still a lot of speculation although we're going to be speculating I'm not going to be speculating about the title in this particular video so first off we're going to talk about people not returning in my opinion and from what I can see in Avengers 4 as you know there was four main deaths in Infinity War four permanent deaths it seems to be so number one obviously that was vision so at the end of the film you know he gets absolutely shredded by thanos and he turns gray and you know he loses the mind stone and a lot of people have been theorizing that maybe shuri actually saved part of his mind and that they can reconfigure him and and make him a new body you know stuff like that but i think that's highly unlikely i thought the way that he went out was really good it was really emotional and I think, like a lot of these deaths that I'm going to be talking about, I feel like if they do go back on it, it will be a shame because the way they went out was so good and so fitting. So I don't think Vision will be returning, although we may see him in some flashbacks and we know there's going to be some time travel, so we might see him there. And so that leads me on to my next point, Loki. He will not be returning, but he will be returning in flashback form. So that's what you've seen in the leak scenes that have come out online. And so Loki is with the old version of Thor, and so he's going to be returning in flashback form, but I don't think he will be returning in his normal self. I think he's actually dead this time. Moving on to the next one, Heimdall. He's definitely dead. I have no reason to believe why he would return in Avengers 4. He wouldn't have such a big part to play. And Gamora. I know that there's Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 coming out and everyone's like, oh, she's probably going to return, but I don't think she will return in Avengers 4. I think the way that she went out was so brilliant and it was a great finish for that character and it propels Thanos' storyline even further and it's crazy. I know people have been theorizing about the soul world that maybe Gamora's inside there, but I think if they're going to revive her, I think they should do it in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 rather than Avengers 4 because there's no real need to actually revive her in that film. Moving on past the not returning characters. So the returning characters of this film are going to be basically everyone that faded away at the end. I think that they've somehow, you know, disintegrated and gone into some other realm. And there will be a way that they actually bring these people back because obviously we know Spider-Man's getting a sequel, Black Panther's getting a sequel, Doctor Strange is most likely getting a sequel, and we know with Doctor Strange's line, you know, at the end he said this was the only way. So he's definitely returning and so is a lot of those other characters in my opinion and from what we know so far. So moving on to the plot aspects of Avengers 4. So this is what we know so far. There's going to be a lot of time travel in the film. So we can actually see in the leak scenes that were actually released online. My theory is that they're using Pym Tech devices that will be shown in Ant-Man and the Wasp, which is coming out in a few months or so, and that is going to be debuted there. And I think at the end of Ant-Man and the Wasp, because we know it's set before Infinity War, it will link into Infinity War, and he'll be like, why is everyone disappearing around me right now? And I think he will be surviving and he will get that time travel technology and so what leads me to actually say that is in the leaked scenes we can see that Stark, Captain America and all the other people including Ant-Man actually have a device on their hand that they didn't have in the past Avengers and past other films that leads me to believe that yes they are using some sort of time travel device and it's actually implanted onto Ant-Man's suit so that gives me reason to believe that Pimtech may have created it and so Ant-Man will be in this film, also Hawkeye will play a pretty big part in the film according to the directors of Avengers Infinity War and Avengers 4, and he will be in his Ronan form throughout most of the film, so that's pretty cool. We're gonna be finally seeing him, you know, everyone was like, where is Hawkeye? And so we're gonna get the answer, 
as to what he's actually been doing apart from just being with his family under house arrest. So he's going around in his Ronin form. And last big thing I want to talk about is Captain Marvel. She's a crucial part in Avengers 4. She's obviously going to have a film before then. And so that's going to set up the backstory. She will come in. I think at the point where Nick Fury actually called for her using one of those 90s devices. But that device that had the Captain Marvel signal. I think that actually signifies that she's actually not on the planet. I think that that means she's actually out there in space battling, you know, the Kree or something like that, or she's just out there in space rather than on Earth, because in present day, Nick Fury would have just used the phone. So she's gonna be playing a big part. Apparently she's the strongest Avenger that they've ever introduced. And so she's going to be playing a part in actually saving a lot of these Avengers characters and also it's going to be her, you know, taking down Thanos most likely is going to be the big thing of what's going to be happening. And finally, we don't really know too much about what Thanos is going to be doing in Avengers 4, but it's going to be a wrap up on his story. And I don't think it will actually extend past Avengers 4 considering they waited so long and this will be a closing of a chapter and it will move on to MCU phase 4 after this film. So anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching, if you did enjoy this video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and I will see you guys later, goodbye.